Welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mysterium 2022 and the State of Cyan presentation. My name is Hannah Gamiel. I'm the development director here at Cyan. I am Eric Anderson. I'm the creative director at Cyan. State of Cyan makes it sound like we're a government. I know, yeah. I don't... But we're not behind a podium, so... We should, we should, we need, a, we need a podium for the streaming studio. This is also, by the way, the, yeah. the, the, the streaming studio here in the basement of Cyan that we're, we're starting to use a little more, uh, all thanks to Jeff. Uh, mm -hmm. so thank you, Jeff, behind the camera, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. for getting this all set up. And thank you to everybody at Mysterium for tuning in and listening to us, uh, ramble for a little while. Yeah. And maybe some of you will recognize what's behind us as well. Uh, Jeff added that as a nice feature for the studio. So I think it's pretty cool. It's Gen's door from Riven. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And uh, before we dive right in, we have a uh, special message from Rand Miller, the CEO of Cyan. Roll that clip. Hey, you guys. I'm, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you where I am. I'm somewhere that it's a good puzzle. You can figure it out. Anyway, uh, have fun at Mysterium. It's going to be awesome. We've been working really hard. Firmament's amazing. I hope you guys have played Mist VR, and we have other things that I've been told specifically I cannot tell you about um, at all, even though I want to, even though you know I like to share things with you, and I'm really bad at that, but I'm not. Um, have fun at Mysterium, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in person next year, but until then, uh, it's going to be a good year. Bye. Well, thank you so much, Rand, for that very special message. I hope uh, things are good with you oh, right now. That's where he is. Not jealous at all. Not jealous at all. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> well, uh, let's dive right in. We've got a few things we want to share with all of you today, and that includes some information about Mist, Firmament, ventures and a special uh, walkabout mini golf thing that's happening with the mist ip so shall we dive in let's dive in let's do it and a q a you left the q a off the oh <gasps> that's right the special we'll, we'll get there bonus q a where we answer all of your burning questions so <clears throat> we figured we'd let you all know kind of like what development that Cyan looks like nowadays. And we had a Kickstarter update, talk about this a little bit too, but that was about a year or so ago at yeah, this it's point. Yeah, it's, it's been a It's been a long time, yeah. yeah. And at that point, um, COVID was still very much a thing as it is right now, really. And we were mostly remote, in fact, almost entirely remote. Uh, and nowadays, now that we have vaccines and it's a little bit safer to come into the office and see each other, Many of us have decided to still work from home, but there are some people who come into the office occasionally mm -hmm. and especially for things like this, you know? Yeah, this is, well, I, it occurs to me that like the last two years for Mysterium, we've done it as faces on screens, you know, because there was no physical Mysterium, everything was virtual. So this is actually kind of nice to actually be back in a physical, mm -hmm. even though we're not at Mysterium. Um, being able to just even sit here and have a conversation is a nice positive change. And I've been coming mm -hmm. into the office pretty regularly for the like last three, four weeks, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it has been, it's been nice. It's been a nice change. I miss the building. I miss the people. Um, even though it's just like a skeleton crew of yeah. folks in the office right now. But um, yeah, the last, uh, the last couple of years have been a big shift for Cyan. I know we've talked about this at previous Mysteriums and all that, but um, it's sort of hung around. This is sort of the new normal yeah. for us. Yeah, very, very true. Some folks are coming into the office, like Eric said. It is a small group, but... Uh, very much welcome that's yep. for sure we miss people time yeah. so it's been good to be able to work together in person again and now it's time to talk about missed stuff which is what i'm sure a lot of you are the biggest fans of uh so it's called mysterium it is called mysterium after all <laughs> no idea why no idea why oh there goes my mouse sorry everybody so Let's talk about what we've done with Mist in the last year since the last Mysterium. Some of that includes shipping Mist on like eight different storefronts. A whole bunch of places. Yeah. yeah. Last time at Mysterium, we showed y'all some screenshots comparing Mist in Mist Masterpiece Edition versus Mist on Quest versus what was to be the released version of Mist on PC. And now that version on PC has been released. It's also available on Mac. 
It is also available mm. on Xbox platforms, which includes Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. That's right. Last year, I guess we were we were imminently going to release the PC and console versions. We yeah. weren't quite mm -hmm. there yet. Yeah, yeah we were yeah. very close, yeah. but it was definitely uh, an imminent sort of thing. Yep. And additionally, we shipped eight different patches, some of which included like brand new features and content. Um, which means we shipped a patch like almost every month and a half on average, which is yeah pretty good cadence considering we're working on other. I was projects. just gonna I was gonna say like <laughs> on its own that would be like okay good for us, yeah. but like the fact of the matter is most of the team is is heads down on other projects, mm -hmm. and so the fact that we've had this much activity on a project that we or a, a, a game we shipped last year, mm -hmm. um, it's. It's pretty cool. It is yeah. pretty cool. And some of those patches even included classic videos mode, right? Which I know a lot of you had asked for. And we were really mm -hmm. happy to like officially bring that into the game and set that up. Um, yeah, that got in there yeah. pretty early, but I may, not everybody may know that that's an option. That's know? true. And for those of you who don't actually know what classic videos mode is in Myst, it's an option in the display settings menu, I believe that allows you to see the original FMV of Cirrus and Akinar and, spoiler alert, Atris in the books on Mist Island. I'm not sure it's a spoiler to say that Atris is in Mist, but... <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, that's fair. And I guess it also includes the imager videos yeah. as well. And the newest, the newest uh, patch includes the note-taking on Quest. That's right. Mm -hmm. We are really happy to finally have that in. You can take screenshots from within the game, view them in the menu, and yep. help keep track of things. Although I'm almost certain many of you watching this video have already played Mist 10,000 times. <laughs> if you have, you play notes. our uh, randomized puzzle mode. <laughs> Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> and, oh, we have some exciting oh, on, things. Let me put my, yeah. let me put my tea down. This is an Uru mug, by the way. This is an Uru Deku Classic. Mug, so. Hard to find. Um, okay, we're going to start with this one. Check this out, you guys. What is this, Hannah? Explain to us what this is. That is the Webby Award for Technical Achievement so in right Games there. for 2021. And we won that award for MIST because of you all. Um, we, I can't say much about that or else we we're going to cry We rigged the ballot on box. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this no, you, was, guys, you guys came yeah. out in in droves and voted for us mm -hmm. and we got the thing and it's actually the pretty thing. cool it's like a big spring yeah it seriously like it does like a bouncy Twing, sort of yeah <laughs> um so this was this is going this has already been in the trophy case we had to bring it bring it down here for this but um grab the other one yeah and i should say that award is because of you all yes. voting for Thank us you. so that is extremely special it was a very like emotional day for us when we won. Thank you so much, everybody. Now for the award that was not voted on by the people, but was voted on by some very special people as well. This was a shocker. Yeah. We won, by the way, this thing is really heavy. Like I want to say it's like at least 10 pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Mac App Store Game of the Year for 2021 as well. And Mist also won this award. Yeah. Wow, this thing is like legit like ugh, hefty and it has the app store icon it's got like a cool message mac game of the year mist yep. um super special i cannot believe mist won these no. awards in 2021 in 2021 yeah no we're not this is, it wasn't from 93 like this yeah. was this version of the game and we seriously couldn't be prouder um coming from apple too it's mm -hmm. like full circle um super amazing that's yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Really just, bizarre and amazing. <laughs> yeah. Life is life is weird sometimes and these were these were really great surprises for us and the whole team. So very true. Very true. Uh oh, forgot about like one of the cool updates to Mist. Gosh, we last week, I guess by the time Mysterium oh, yeah. airs, it'll have been a couple of weeks. Yeah, this is this is your baby. You gotta talk about this one. Yeah. Uh we pushed a patch on Quest platform for fully formed hand tracking support so you like can no controllers yeah no controllers at all you can play mist on quest with your good old fingers and wrists and palms <laughs> that's a weird way to put it but you know what i mean uh you can point to move forward point to teleport you know grab things with your hands it's really cool can, also i like to push buttons with my pinkies and you can play the piano in the stone ship that's true 
Can you have you tried? Oh, to play in Selenetic, not Stone Ship. Or, sorry, yeah, Selenetic. Yeah. This rocket ship is what I meant. Sorry, everyone's like, who's this idiot? He doesn't Piano even know Island. Piano and Stone Ship. Yeah. I, I've never been to Mist Island. I don't know what it's. <laughs> um, can you play chopsticks on it? Uh, yeah, you could. Okay, I'm pretty I wanna, certain. Yeah, I want to see a video of somebody playing playing music on the Selenetic keyboard mm, in the rocket ship. I want to see Takata on Fugue being played. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Takata on Fugue, right? Someone you, who knows music is gonna kill me for I was gonna getting say, that you're wrong. The, you're the music person. Je- Je- Jeff says thumbs up. Okay, Jeff <laughs> you thumbs got up it. me. Great, excellent. So oh. blah blah blah, missed. Wow, it's so awesome. We all love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Crap. This is the part. This is the part I have to do right. <laughs> Firmament, y'all. Firmament. <laughs> um, so we, you know, people have been asking. Um, give us an update. Show us some stuff. Uh, and we're in the middle of working on it, you guys. Um, but, uh, these guys twisted my arm and I went in and captured a bunch of footage. Uh, I thought it would just be a couple minutes of new footage. It ended up being 10 minutes of new footage. So, um, let's roll some clips and talk about the thing we're making. Roll that clip. Roll that clip. What we're looking at here is work in progress. This is not final. This is this is subject to change. Eric, you know, are you telling me the game's not done the game, yet? <laughs> you, <laughs> you can play it on your iPhone right now. No, you can't. <laughs> This is all recorded in editor, not in game. And so uh, everything that you're seeing um, isn't yet optimized and all that. It's still running fine. It, th- th- there might be some some stutters and stuff, but that's just because I was in the editor. Um, I should stop disclaiming it and just talk about the visuals. Yeah, you should. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I stare at this stuff all day long. You ask me some questions about it. Uh, let's see. So what's the name of this place called that we're looking at? Uh, the, the stuff that's currently on screen, we call it Glacial. Um, and yes, internally, we call it the Glacial Age. Um, no, it is not a missed age. Yeah. <laughs> but habits are hard to kick, and we can't help ourselves from talking about the worlds that we build as ages, regardless of whether they're in, mm-hmm. a, in the missed universe or not. So this is the Glacial Age. Um... Uh, we do have some footage in here of of uh, one of the other ages we'll get to in a little bit. Um, some of the stuff uh, are areas that we've we've shown in the past, and some of it is new. So, uh, here's a question that might come up: Does mm-hmm. this have any connection to abduction? Uh, nope. Great. Nope. There we go. For all of you people who might think this oh, might is, be... Oh, is that a thing that's going around? Are there people who are like, oh, it's a... I feel like I've seen, like, one question really? no, related to no, it. No, no, no. Does this have anything to do with mist? No. There we go. No. This is a new IP, This is a Eric? new IP. This, this is, is a, a brand new, new IP. IP. Um, this, we got some, some, some hard surface stuff. We got these cool vehicles. We call those things Omni Wheels. Um, Where did the Omni Wheels take you? All kinds of places. Mm. It wouldn't be a Cyan game without uh, cool tracked vehicles to to drive you around. Tell us about what that is in the distance, that like looming arch sort of thing. That's that's the arch. That is uh, an ever-present component in in this game. Um, The arch is, is there, and you should go check it out. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Eric's trying to yeah, not spoil I'm trying to not spoil, spoil anything. I'm trying to keep stuff sort of abstract. Yeah. Um, Heads up, that's going to be a lot of this discussion. Yeah, trying to avoid spoilers. Right. Um, right oh, man, right. we should have disclaimed that for everybody, too. We're going to be talking about things that might be, I want to say, like, one to two percent spoilers. Yeah. For things, if you if like, you don't, if you if you really want to go in fresh, then, you know, fast forward eight minutes or whatever and, yeah. and you'll be fine um mm-hmm. but we're not gonna give any any major uh plot points away or anything so yeah mm-hmm. um got some some cool industrial buildings that we've been working on uh cool interiors to explore um here's something that people might ask who maybe are more technical sure. and are wondering about perhaps is firmament going to be coming to quest 
Um, we would like it to, but that is not a early, like a near field priority. Um, mm -hmm. Our obligation is to the the backers of the Kickstarter first and foremost, um, but uh, mainly it's you know PC and console players. Um, there's a whole well we could do a whole talk on quest development, but uh, mm -hmm. and I, I realize you're you're asking it uh, uh, you know hypothetically, but mm -hmm. you know as well as I do what it takes to bring games yes. to quest. Um, what would your answer to that question be? I would say the same thing. Okay. Yeah. It would be great to be able to bring Firmament to Quest one day, but definitely highest priority is PC, yep. Mac, PS4, PS5. Additionally, here's something we can talk about too. We recently announced, and by recently, it was like months ago at this point. If you haven't seen the Kickstarter update, we announced that we won't be coming to PSVR in the sense of PSVR for PS4, but- Like PSVR 1. Yeah, PSVR mean, yeah. 1. We will, however, be coming to PSVR 2. So that means you will still be able to play Firmament on PS4 and PS5 flat screen. It's just that you won't be able to play in VR on PS4. You have to play in VR on PS5. Yep. And this was a deliberate decision due to many factors, um, some not necessarily within our control. And we feel like bringing it to PSVR 2 will bring the best yeah. VR experience on PlayStation yeah. for everybody. It would, it would have been sort of the same dilemma with Quest, right? It's like, well, Similar, we, could, yeah. we could try and do it, but the hurdles would be very, very steep considering uh, what we would need to do to get it to run the hardware. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, our, first and foremost, we want to make sure that the, the, the I don't want to say high end, but the mainstream of players playing on like a PC or a console are getting the, the best experience they can. Um, yeah. Um, okay, oh, so we got we go. some footage of a new place. This is an age we call the Coastal Age. Really, really, really uh, proud of the work that the team has been doing. Um, we should talk a little bit about, like, everything that's shown on screen here is the work of, trying to think of, a um, number of people who, mm -hmm. who whose work you're seeing here. Uh, five, five or six artists and two or three engineers. Mm -hmm three or four mm -hmm. engineers depending on how how you break down you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some of that is core engine work too but like this is this is a relatively small team of people doing all this stuff mm -hmm. and um on a on a pretty breakneck timeline and and with a lot of other uh <laughs> with a lot of other other things going on like i always say you know too many yes. too many chainsaws not enough hands and so uh here's a quick question yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt uh is that blood in the water. <laughs> no, what? Do, why would you ask that? Is that a pool of blood? Because my wife did last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized a whole bunch of meshes are missing, so things are floating. That's all right. Like I said, this is uh, alpha footage, you guys. Yes. To clarify and to answer on behalf no, of Eric, it is, it not, is not. So. Is that orange juice? That is tang. <laughs> yes. It's a vat of tang. Mm. The astronauts drink it, so. Do they still sell tang? Yeah, of course they do. You said that so confidently. I mean, <laughs> if they don't sell Tang, I feel like I want to shut this this stream down right now and start a petition or something. Is this like your typical Myst game where you walk around and interact with buttons and levers and open doors? Very good and question. Everything. Um, no, uh, there are some differences. There's some, there's some key differences even between the original proof of concept. So backers who are familiar with... Um, well, the, there's a thing on screen now that looks like a round dinner plate with some gears in it. That's called a socket. And the way our uh, adjunct, the little the little robot thing works now, is it it doesn't fly around freely of its own accord like it did in the original proof of concept. Instead, it's more of a tool that the player uses to interact with things from a distance. So the way I like to describe it is that in this game, it's not a world filled with buttons and levers. It's a, it's, you are your own button and lever and you have mm. uh, a, a further distance to influence things. And so that is the core interaction mechanic in this game. It's the player interfacing with these sockets via the adjunct and what we call the tether. I don't have any footage of the adjunct. It's still, we're still work in progress on that. Anyway, uh, hopefully that um, satisfies people's desire to see sort of work in progress. It, you know, I can, I can, I can feel my, uh, my soul dying a little bit <laughs> seeing work in progress stuff and seeing all the, all the warts and stuff I want to fix. But Everybody, you included, assure me that like it's fine. Yes. It's fine. So everybody, 
do Eric a huge favor. He was very nervous to post those clips because he is like so concerned. It's not final. It's not perfect enough. If you have a chance, please <laughs> let him know or tag Cyan on Twitter. Like, please send him reassurance. If you liked those clips, if you thought they were cool, give him a shout out. Really, though, like the artists worked super hard to yeah. make that look the way it does. The engineers worked super hard to get yeah. the game actually As playable. As 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 nervous as I always am to show stuff, um, I couldn't be prouder of the work that the team is doing, and and that's not just the art team; it's the whole the whole mm -hmm. team because uh, we're 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 doing backflips trying to get this thing out on a crazy timetable, and uh, mm -hmm. so it's actually all me. It's all Hannah. You can all thank me for all of my work. Thank you. More info coming soon on Firmament. Still no announced release date. We won't be announcing yeah. release date today. S spe speaking of more info, I believe that the clips that we just showed, um, some or part of them, uh, uh, I think we're going to share with the with the backers. In fact, mm -hmm. if you're a backer, Probably you, you may them, yeah. you may have actually gotten some some sneak peeks already. Um, just wanted to like hit pause for a second and say to the backers of this project. Thank you very much for your support. You made this um, possible. You made this possible, and we are very <clears throat> conscious of um, your desire to get it in your hands and play it and see more. And we're working our butts off um, mm -hmm. to to achieve that as quickly as we can. Yeah. But uh, thanks for your patience. Thank you. On thank everything. you for your patience, and thank you for your uh, s all flavors of support, mm -hmm. <laughs> financial and emotional and moral, and you know, yeah. all of it. I think so. we can all agree everybody would want a good game done you know in the amount of time we're able to make it happen versus a bad game done quickly yeah so yeah we are we're, you crank, know. we're cranking on it you guys we're we are mm -hmm. pivoting from firmament we'd love to talk about some cyan ventures what titles. is ventures hannah mm, tell me what question. cyan ventures is cyan ventures is what we used to call our friendly funding and publishing arm and now at least internally, I'm not sure if we've updated our external stuff. Maybe it'll be live on the day of Mysterium. We are more of a development support arm of the company now, where we help developers with QA and testing and certification on different platforms, uh, business advisory stuff, let's see, marketing support in the sense of monitoring forms and reviews and answering support yeah, store, emails. Storefronts and back yeah, set up. Storefronts. Almost anything you can imagine being a part of the game development process, we are working with developers on making or helping them do all of that stuff. If they are new to development, if they are experienced but just need an extra pair of hands, we're there for them. So uh, we'd love to talk about some new ventures titles that have come out in the last year since Mysterium. Mm -hmm. Both of these titles, actually, their developers are here at Mysterium today. And I believe the day that this is airing and they will be around if you want to chat with them. I believe they're doing some talks. So, you know, give them a pat on the back. Congratulate them mm -hmm. for their releases. They worked super, super hard. The, on these. The two of them this year. The first one is Area Man Lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what platforms are they on? Quest platform. They're also available on Viveport, which includes the Viveport Infinity subscription. And it's also available on Steam. It's also available on Oculus Store for PC as well, mm -hmm. which, wow, that's quite a lot for. That's a lot for, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for that, that's by uh, Numinous Games, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they got like some legit talent to be in their yes. game. Um, yes. Uh, Max Greenfield from mm -hmm. The New Girl. What was his character's name on The New Girl? Why did I ask that? If, we, <laughs> if I didn't know, if we didn't have the answer handy. <laughs> Schmitty, Schmitty, Schmitty from the New Girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Joel McHale from mm -hmm. Community and various mm -hmm. other things, and Ronan Farrow. Freaking Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize, Prize winning, winning Ronan Ron Farrow. Yeah, like yeah. in in their cool little VR game. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When I heard the news, who I mean, we of course knew ahead of time. Uh, that was that blew me away. Like that, that's yeah, nuts. yeah. That is like seriously an all star cast. Yeah. Uh, it's really incredibly impressive. If you are a fan of radio dramas, totally check this game out. It is super quirky, yep. fun, bizarre at times. It definitely catches you off guard with its game mechanics. You know, give it a shot. It's really cool. I believe cross buy is enabled as well. So cool. if you buy the game on Quest or on Oculus Store for PC, you get the entitlement for the opposite platform, which means you could play it 
you know, on Quest or PC, whichever store you didn't buy it on. So very cool stuff. And then in addition to that, mm -hmm. we have uh, the, the studio is Pontoco, mm -hmm. uh, The Last Clockwinder. Which also has an incredible cast of people playing in that, including Sissy Jones from Firewatch. And like every other game ever made. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Really incredible game. If you are a fan of like factory simulation and like recording your own body, body movements to make a factory line style of things. This is so yeah. the game for you. It's very unique. The uh, mechanic, mechanic is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a, it's like, it's like Factorio meets, yeah. meets a VR playroom type thing. And that's a good uh, way to put it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's super fun, super, uh, beautiful stylized mm -hmm. art. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Check really, it out. Really, really cool games. That Check these both out. out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and again, both develop both sets of developers. Is Pontoco there as well? Yes. Awesome. Hi everybody. Um, for Mysterium attendees, please go listen to their talks, check out their games, and say hello to them for us. Yes, indeed. And bonus, bonus for those of you who do not know that this happened or is in the works, there is going to be. A uh, mini golf course that's mist themed coming to Quest later this year. Whoa. Wh I, also, here's a question. Yeah. Why did we let this happen to I, the mist IP? <laughs> How dare we? How dare we? This was, I think people thought this was a joke when we announced mm -hmm. it. They're like, it's not even April. Listen, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I think Mighty Coconut is there as well, right? Yes, okay. they are. Hi, Mighty Coconut. <laughs> hi, hi, guys. Um, Listen, Mysterium. Yeah. If you haven't played Walkabout Mini Golf yet, you're missing out. Mm -hmm. Um I am an unabashed mini golf lover. And um when I picked up Walkabout for my quest, it took about 30 seconds and I realized that it was one of the best VR games that I've ever played. And I'm not saying that facetiously. Here, here. It's like legit, you're playing mini golf in your living room on these cool, fantastical courses. Mm -hmm. So we were familiar. I mean, we already knew about the product, we played it. Mm -hmm. And when, when they reached out to us to say, hey, would you maybe be okay with us building a golf course on Mist Island? Like, we didn't even need to discuss it internally. <laughs> we were like, duh. D uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Do it. Um, <clears throat> we have had a chance to see their work in progress. I guess you guys will be seeing it uh, this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't be happier. Uh, it's super weird to walk around Mist Island, which is a place that I'm very familiar with these yes. days, and ha see somebody else's take on it, see somebody else's interpretation, and be able to play golf on Mist Island. It's super fun. It is really yeah. fun. And wow. Wow. I, I can't even say anymore without like spoiling it, but I'm so excited for all of you to see it and experience it and hear the music yep. that is in it too oh my gosh yeah yeah, yeah. wow so later, it is very mist like later this year you'll be able to check it out and in the meantime um check out the other courses they've got because they're all yes. good yeah. yeah if you're looking for a chill time in vr this is a, a good game for that too and you can play it with friends it's very cool well eric yes hannah um, is something special happening next year um I think you're going to be uh, in your 30s. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, but also, there is another special thing happening next year. I wouldn't say that's very special. No. Me turning 30. No. Yeah. But uh, I was just making fun of you being a child. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child. Sorry, everybody. They're actually, before we even talk about next year, and whatever is happening next this year. year, something happened this year. And you know what? I'll give you all five seconds to shout out a guess, even though we can't hear it. What's your guess for what happened this year? <laughs> it's the dumbest bit ever. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad someone <laughs> shouted it out, or maybe they didn't. But uh, Riven's 25th anniversary was this year and maybe there were some Riven, gasps in the audience yeah. when i just said that Riven but. can rent a car now <laughs> oh my god you're right it's also wow. five times five is 25 and that's the Riven's 25th in oh my god oh my god mm. 25 Riven. divided by two is 12.5 well that, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> i'm i'm literally just <laughs> like <laughs> doing weird math that means absolutely nothing but 
yes, we are very much aware that Riven had its 25th anniversary this year in the year of 2022. I know some of you have been eagerly awaiting maybe something to happen. Let me just not calm everybody down, but like set expectations there with that. Simmer, simmer down, everybody. everybody. Calm down. <laughs> simmer down. Uh, simmer down now, Here's y'all. Here's the deal. We're super busy with, with Firmament right yeah. now. And mm-hmm. um, it was tough to try to figure out a way to properly celebrate Riven's 25th anniversary while while our hair's on fire trying to ship, you know, mm-hmm. the, uh, this other big project. So um, what we're going to try and do instead, I'll let you cover the the smushing together of mm-hmm. those two anniversaries. Is we will smush together those two anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to put it. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we don't see next year Mist's 30th anniversary as exclusively about the game mist we see it as a celebration of the mist series and ip in general and we don't expect it to be just like all about mist as a necessity if you catch our drift so we're going to to draw that out yes we're gonna have go ahead tell them we're gonna have something new and exciting to share every month next year and we're not going to tell you what everything is because that would spoil the fun right but we're we still do we're have... still lining up logistics on some of them too just to be fair yeah just for to be sure fair. it is like i mean like half of 2023 is like over a year away at this point to some extent but <clears throat> we do have some things we're already in the works with uh and that includes stuff like just some little merch things that we're really excited to offer for the first time ever Mm -hmm. for example like challenge coins in fact someone wrote into our info at who's maybe watching this video right now who was like hey can i get a license to sell missed challenge coins this was like two days ago (laughs) and we were like um sorry because we beat you to it yeah yeah, we are beating you to it we're gonna do that so honestly like mysterium is probably the perfect the perfect group of people to 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 dangle something like that Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. like um i don't know the details of the designs yet but Mm -hmm. we we've pitched some things around and very very excited i want to get i want to get some of those yeah me too i think we all should get some Um, of those another thing that we've well this is really more of a question for for you guys honestly Mm -hmm. something we've kicked around for a while is um cyan like logo logo gear right mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. the you know hannah's got her sweatshirt on i've got my hoodie on um we're thinking about actually for the first time ever doing some t-shirts that are just cyan t-shirts mm-hmm. like rep in the studio um usually this is you know developers only but we're thinking about kind of opening that door if people mm-hmm. are interested so um if you are interested uh hit us up on twitter mm-hmm. um let us know if cyan logo gear uh, shirts and that sort of stuff would be of interest. And if mm-hmm. so, we will we'll make it happen. Mm-hmm. And additionally, because not everything that's happening next year for each month will be merch related. Like, hey, give us more of your money. <laughs> we'll sell you something yeah. every month. <laughs> yeah. The worst advent that's, calendar ever. <laughs> yeah, that's not super fun. Uh, we have started doing some investigatory work. And recovery work into things in our archive related to Riven in particular. And we've already found some things that we're fairly certain no one has ever seen, you know, like printed or shared and any semblance. Very like early development stuff, too. That's super interesting. I'm excited to share more mm-hmm. of that. Some of that will just be freebies we, we get out there yeah. for you guys to enjoy. So Yeah, yep. for sure. Good shared knowledge right there. And uh, an additional thing that we'll be doing next year is this is the thing, well, one of the things that we can't give too many details on because it's still in the works, but we are already working with some of you in the audience and digital, like, you know, live at Mysterium, not live at Mysterium on some very special secret projects. Secret projects. Yeah, no, there's actually some stuff that I know internally we're super hype about. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, And that is not permission for you to go and harass your friends no. who you know are working with Cyan right now. Don't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, more to come. Um, mm-hmm. And you guys are going to love it. You will definitely love it. I can almost guarantee you. Now, is it, it Q- is, is it, time. Is it Q&A time? It is Q&A time. It's 
spicy Q and A time. I just checked the time to make sure we're running on time. Are we doing all right? Yeah, we're doing well. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we have a very special Q and A section for you. We have a very special Q and A section. Spicy Q and A. These we compiled a list of questions. We're fairly certain uh, almost all of you have asked. <laughs> Sometime over the last 10 years, you know, whether it's like a week ago or like 10 years ago. Or some uh, of these are things that that come in day after day after day on, yes. on the social medias, people asking the same questions. And, you know, as a studio, there's certain things that we intentionally try to like avoid tackling in a public forum where it's mm -hmm. not appropriate to answer or it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's too far out. Um, so we thought we would mix it up a little bit and mm -hmm. come at some of this stuff head on. So, mm -hmm. um yeah. I should yeah. also say, in response to some of these questions, if we had infinite time and money to do everything all at once, we would. Alas. Sp speaking <laughs> Small of which, company. three years ago at the Mysterium, uh, I there was a there was a Mysterium where Rand did his his State of Cyan speech, mm -hmm. and he listed, I think every product that that we could possibly be working on and said we're working on all of them we're oh doing them God. all everybody oh rand um love you rand so this isn't officially a, a q a question but mm -hmm. i'll what so what about all that stuff are we that's done are you guys done what's taking so long <laughs> that's my answer <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hit let's let's dig in on some of these. Yes. So, first question. Eric, where is Rhyme? Uh it's in a real cold place in the Arctic. <laughs> oh, you mean even the Rhyme? No, I mean the... like right. development wise. Rhyme. Okay. Yeah. So, for people who don't know what the heck we're talking about, um mm. what is Rhyme? Rhyme is the fifth age of of mist, technically the sixth age if you count Mist Island as oh, an age, right? Yeah, so sure. it's the it's the it's the uh, the additional age of mist that that came out when we did real mist back mm -hmm. in two thousand. Um, it was omitted from the new remake just because of time and scope and all that. Um, not because we didn't want to. Not because we didn't want to. We've started working on it. Mm -hmm. We've got early development uh, started on it, but. Um, rhyme confirmed rhyme, or no. <laughs> or, or uh, it's going to be the same answer uh, with everything else. It's like firmament is is sort of taking up the firmament and other things are taking up the bulk of our resources right now. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be irresponsible of us to divert resources and, and push rhyme update ahead of, of those other efforts. Mm -hmm. um, do we want to do rhyme? I, I mean, I'm on record. I, I believe anytime support or the socials get inquiries they forward like a tweet i made like two years ago mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. yes rhyme is i i want rhyme real bad um but it's not as simple as just building rhyme we would also have to modify mist island pretty heavily yeah um and that's no joke uh, especially the way we do uh development now our data set for mist drives every product you know it's it's the quest version and the pc version and the the xbox version it's it's everything so we have to be really careful if we go in and make changes because we don't want to blow up all of our builds and all that so um the longest answer for the shortest answer which is not yet yeah <laughs> not yet yeah someday there it is folks um, uh, in addition actually we had an ARG at one point where I think the secret message was started working on Rhyme. So mm. that now officially confirms. Other well, we, than we your did. Tweet. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, we have started working on it. And I yeah. got to say, it's pretty cool, but we're not, it's not ready for prime time yet. Yeah. So mm -hmm. speaking of Mist, uh, what about more Mist updates, mm. Anna? Keep an eye out, especially next year. We do have some things cooking and we're brainstorming about. For example, we're considering adding a content update that we'd like to think is like a director's cut of Mist, where maybe we even bring people in to have some little like speech blurbs or whatever that come up during the game from the original Mist development team. Mm -hmm folks to talk about it on the new development team or it, i mean think, some people there is a little bit of overlap it would enough, almost be like so. a director's commentary where, yeah, director's where commentary, you yeah. can play through mm -hmm. the game and you know play the game but also mm -hmm. interact with sort of um fourth wall breaking mm -hmm. little audio bits that would that would tell you insight about different areas or the development they're in mm -hmm. so. and there's no eta on that and additionally something we would like to include in that sort of update would be 
and drum roll please because i know some of you have been asking about it node mode and i know maybe to some of you who are or are not involved in game development it seems like a trivial ad it is not a trivial ad because it there are many many things yeah. that are factored into navigation in mist there, there was a reason it was omitted to first pass yeah. is because it's non-trivial yeah. amount of work so. it's a lot of work <clears throat> for a game like mm -hmm. ours so you know keep your ear to the ground for some of this stuff especially next year after development resources are freed from firmament and uh hopefully we can get that to y'all mm -hmm. so um eric is mist coming to more platforms it, it might have not been big news but mist actually came out on a new platform just this week <laughs> it came out and i'm not this is not a joke uh atari 2600 a developer online has built a running version of mist on the atari 2600 Dieter, you cray you crazy you cray <laughs> <laughs> um I that I mean we that there was no back channel there like no. I saw that the same time everybody else did and it, he did the same thing for an Apple IIe yeah like the a, demake of the Mist, demake yeah. of Mist good lord like it's just so good it's so, yeah. it made me so happy he even did a talk at Mysterium last summer if you want to check it out it was super interesting mm -hmm. actually I would love to see a talk on how Dieter was able to do it for atari 2600 yeah. what the and not an what? not an emulator it's actually mm -hmm. running on an atari 2600 cartridge yeah. so like mm -hmm. yeah check it out yeah yeah when it comes to like seriously answering that question though is mist coming to more platforms keep your ear to the ground <laughs> we're working on it it's possible that could be one of the surprises next year maybe even a surprise this year mm. right. who knows am i right if that covers our missed questions our yeah. spicy missed mm -hmm. questions but Eric, will Ruby remade in VR one day? Oh, there's a <laughs> this came this came in just the other day. I saw another one of these. Um, oh, he, the official answer is, I mean, it probably could just be a simple no. Highly unlikely for a number of reasons. Um, and much love to the 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 uh, the Moolah players, all the people playing um, Uru Mist Online. Mm -hmm. Like we love you guys. Um, that game is near and dear to our hearts. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is we haven't maintained the, the plasma engine in over a decade. And so the idea of like, Hey, let's take Uru, this very complex, big multiplayer game <clears throat> and just get it running in VR. And additionally make it look good enough. And make for it look like, good. Yeah. Even if we didn't <clears throat> care about the visuals mm -hmm. and we just wanted to just get it running in VR, mm -hmm. there's a whole stack of problems mm -hmm. that, that we can't even begin to crack open uh, to do it for real would probably mean rebuilding it in Unreal at this yeah. point mm -hmm. because it's what our tool chain is completely based around. Mm -hmm. um, intentionally, like we we made that decision as a studio years ago. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna fo specialize and focus. That's what that's what has allowed us to do all these other titles and the mystery remake and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I hear you guys. But yeah, the the fact of the matter is. Uh, Uru will probably not be VR unless it's unless it's you know revitalized in some form. Mm -hmm. years but hey, now. if any uh you know people with money to spare out there have millions of dollars to give to us to make that happen, hit me up. <laughs> 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 that might change our minds. That Who would, knows? Yeah, that would help. That would help a lot. Yes. I would I would love um to revisit and I have actually I've taken some mm -hmm. <clears throat> some portions of Uru and rebuilt them in Unreal oh, in the that's past cool. and it was fun to to do but to do that as an official effort would mm -hmm. be would be big. I so. can hear some people in my mind at least saying like where can we find that Eric? Where can we find your little tests? Did I ever post that online? I I think I posted some screens or something. I'm unsure. I don't know. If if anyone knows where it is, post it. If not, um, I'll dig it up and post some stuff. It's like the community. It it's the community center from from the neighborhood in Uru. Oh, cool. Yeah, That's so. cool. Eric, Firmament's taking a long time. You don't have to be a jerk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that this one, this is one of our spicier questions we get, and I understand that it, you know especially for people who backed the game it's coming from a from a super reasonable um expectation uh God, it's complex making these games you guys and uh True that. Made, made made more complex by the fact that we're a small team juggling like i said multiple multiple chainsaws um and the last couple of years have been a real kick in the teeth it's been 
like a global pandemic and all kinds of Weird. turmoil. Weird. Yeah. So yeah, uh, firmament is taking a long time. Um, it's 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 hard. It's been difficult. It continues to be difficult. But we are making really good progress, and I'm proud of the work. I mean, you guys you guys saw the clips and stuff. So hopefully hopefully it, it's evident that we're we're busting our butts over here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, it's taken a long time, and I wish I wish I could snap my fingers and and get it in everybody's hands tomorrow. Um, just grateful for everybody's patience. But mm -hmm. um, yep, yeah. What else would you say about that one? We gotta bake the cake before we can eat it. We gotta bake the cake before we can eat. Nobody yeah. nobody wants undercooked. That's right. Cake. You don't want it to be. What do they say on a <laughs> the baking show? You don't want it to be stodgy. Stodgy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Great British Bake Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's stodgy. Um, I have a question. Dem dem mist books. Mm. Let's say I want to read me some mist books. Mm. I why I can't I can't buy them miss books. Why can't I buy them miss books, Hannah? Good news. It's true, you cannot <laughs> buy them anywhere right now. <laughs> but you will be able to buy the first three miss books at least, at the very least, in digital form sometime either later this year or next year as a part of our celebrations. And drum roll. We're working on special physical editions too. TBD on how that takes shape, what it looks like. Yeah. Logistics, logistics will dictate that. Yeah, will yeah, yeah. dictate that. You know, still global pandemic, making physical goods is very difficult for basically everywhere in the world right yeah. now, and shipping them too. But we have some very very special plans in the works for the physical books in mm -hmm. particular, especially. Um, I don't know if I should say much more than that, but uh, look. How about we say this? It will be slightly different from the original release, mm -hmm. the books. Mm -hmm. And I'll just let y'all simmer on what that could mean. But I just heard Jeff go like, mm. <laughs> it's a, it's now a choose your own adventure book. Yeah. <laughs> it's being rewritten as a choose your own adventure. <laughs> exactly. All right. I have, mm. this is the last, this is the, this is the last item on our spicy Q and a, but I'm, very glad it's here because I think it's we're long overdue to to tackle this. So what's the deal with Riven? Are you mm. guys are you guys working on the new the new hotness? The Riven the Riven experience to end all Riven experiences. <laughs> To end, to all, end all Riven experience. There's just like a Riven. black hole that forms. <laughs> and sucks everything in its mass up. Riven, Riven VR. Yeah. You, you, are we ready to? Yeah. Let's let's talk about this. All right. Here's. I, the, yeah. You, you want to start? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm so glad. We had the opportunity to talk about that. I feel like that probably cleared up a bunch of confusion that about felt, it. That felt so, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Appreciate appreciate mm -hmm. the questions. Yeah. Um, you can stop asking now. Yeah. Yeah. So just you could stop altogether because now you know. Now you know. Yeah. Um, do we have anything else on the agenda? Do we have any more awards to hoist? No, we don't. No. <laughs> but we do have some quick thank yous we want to give. And that includes a huge thank you the Mysterium Committee who puts up with us every year yep. <laughs> and organizes this, you know, to celebrate it's, all things missed. Yeah, and we know that organizing a, 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 a get together like this, both real and virtual, and at the same time, no doubt, is super complicated. It's no joke. Yeah, yeah. and you guys, uh, you always knock it out of the park and you're mm -hmm. nothing but a pleasure to, to, to work with. Mm -hmm. So Everybody there, give the Mysterium Committee members a pat on the back if you see them. Yep. With their permission, social distancing, you know, <laughs> social bubbles and everything, of course. But and I hope everybody is having an awesome yeah. time at the at the at the conference. Yeah, we and wish we could be there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have a fun weekend. Yeah. Thank you all so much. It was really a pleasure. Yep. And uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.